I like big bags and I cannot lie. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, maybe I should just start the video, right? <laughs> <laughs> everybody thanks so much for joining me here today I'm Melanie from hook to the left and today we're gonna talk about this big old honking bag that I got for my blanket projects and I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and I'm gonna compare it to another one that I found at I didn't buy it but another one that I found at um, and I'll put some video in it in here but another one that I found at Joann's um, I was originally gonna compare it to this one but this is a baby bag and that's no comparison so I am going to be doing another video um, doing a review on this bag on its own merits okay so I'm not gonna do a comparison video with this I'm gonna compare it a little bit with the with um, with a uh, Joann's bag which I think is Big Twist it's the same brand as this to be honest with you which I believe is Big Twist no, nope, there's no branding on the bag itself, but I believe it, I believe the brand is Big Twist. Um, that is comparable to the bag, and I'll have some video to show you comparable to the bag that I'm gonna show you. The bag's here. The bag's in use. Okay, so let's talk about this bag. All right, first things first. I'm gonna put it up here. Um, I did find this bag on Amazon. I was looking for something that was a little bit bigger that I could store my blanket projects in. Um, I was well, there, the particular problem that I was running into at the time is I was making a baby blanket, which I'll post the picture up here, and it had three colors, and I was using big twist yarn, so I had the big skeins, and I needed to be able to put those three in there without them getting twisted up, because I was switching back and forth to the colors, um, and I found this bag online and it met a lot of my markers so one thing I needed to do is I needed to have a clothes top because I have animals so while I, everything that I, I send out gets washed and sometimes it ends up with animal hair on it anyway I want to minimize that as much as possible so I had to have a clothes top which meant that I needed to have some sort of grommet in there for it to feed the yarn through so I needed that but I also needed some sort of separation for the skeins that I was using the three big the three different colors that I was using I needed some sort of separation so that they did not get tangled up as I was using them um, and feeding them through the grommets um, I have another big barrel bag that I use that I love and I will post that it's an art bin bag so I'll post that here um, but I, I I love that bag. I really do. It was a gift from Julie, the whippy chick. I'll post her chain. I'll link her channel up above so you can go check her out. But um, it was it's a great bag, but it wasn't going to solve that particular problem. And I did not have enough Lysol canisters to put the the big skeins in because it had to be a bigger Lysol canister. And honestly, it's a little bit tall. And I didn't think about doing like a two liter. And cutting, cutting it and cleaning it and then using I didn't think about that. I'll remember that for next time. But this solved, this particular bag solved the problem and I was able to move forward with my project without worrying about things getting tangled up. So it had three compartments and bonus, it had another fourth compartment that was in the back that I could tuck the blanket in. And I didn't even think about that. But it did. It had that and I loved it. So, and of course I needed some place on the outside of the bag um, to store my yarn, my hooks and my scissors and, and all the things that we need as a crocheter or a knitter that we need as a yarn creator um, to create our projects and finish them off if you want to. All right, so let me take a look. Let's have a look at this bag. I now have my mother's project in this bag. So it's a little bursting at the seams because it's a big blanket that I'm making for her so just keep that in mind um, the baby blanket that I was making was not bursting quite so much um, so I'm gonna get into one of the cons already with the bag so it is mostly closed but as you can see as this is starting to bulge this is poofing up and this is open here so I'm not a fan of that um, I wish that this zipped here and that way it could bulge a little bit here without it opening and having this big gaping hole that pet fur and, and dander can get into okay so I'm not a big fan of that that is a con um, but it has this I liked this clear pocket here 
Um, and then it has the grommets, which these grommets could stand to be a little bit smaller, but they're not horrible. You know, this is, I can fit my finger uh, to the end of my, um, to the end of my nail bed in there. So it's not horrible. Um, but there's three grommets there. And you can't see it because this big, this huge blanket is uh, kind of pressing down. So I'll show it here in a minute. But it has that clear section there. Now this section here, as you're working your project, um, it unsnaps. So you pull the blanket out here. Now on this one, I already had the, um, the strand attached to the blanket. So it's not coming through the grommet. So it's coming out on this side on this particular project, but I did have it coming through this when I was doing the baby blanket and it was working out great. And then what I would do is I would just pull the blanket out of here and then I would tuck it back in um, whenever I got done. So the yarn would kind of go back and over down this way. Now these two, when I had the other two strands that I w when I wasn't using them here, I would just pull the excess strand out and kind of tuck it back here with the blanket when I wasn't using those particular strands. Okay, so let's snap this back and I'm going to unzip. So it unzips as a whole unit and here it is in the middle as this whole unit. So it opens completely up here when you unzip it. Okay, so it opens completely and here you can see and on the, on the Amazon website, you can see the different compartments a little bit better um, than what you can see here, but there are the three different compartments. Now I've got um, one cake in here and I've got another cake in here and that's all I need. So this, this little section is empty. In fact, I have one of the labels from the big twist that I was use the big twist that I was using um, in my last project. I need to go ahead and toss those, but yeah. So there's these big, nice and roomy. I was able to fit, when I was making the baby blanket, I was able to fit two um, each uh, big twist skeins. And those are, these are decent sized skeins. So they're, I would say comparable to a Super Saver skein. Um, I don't buy Super Saver, so I haven't compared the yardage between the two, but as far as as far as it goes, it's pretty comparable in the size, in that size, as far as the skein of yarn goes. And I was able to fit two in each of the thing, in each of the different compartments, and the blanket easily sat and folded up in the back. Again, that was a baby blanket. This is a this is a pretty full. I think it's going to be about a full size blanket when I get done with this. So it's a decent size blanket that I'm making here. Now this does come with an additional pocket in the front. It is a zippered pocket. Where is it? I put a little tassel on the end because I got to wash my, my barrel. This usually is on my barrel that Julie gave me, um, I, but I got to wash it. So I needed to, I pulled the tassel off. All right. Now I have in here, I fit my case, a crochet uh, hook case. I have a pair of scissors in this pocket here, but this is a great place to put um, long uh, straight uh, needles um, for knitting knitting straight knitting needles that's what I was trying to say and then all your hooks fit easily over on here and then this side I've, I've tucked in things like um, this is a little container that I got from um, Joann's isn't that cute yarnology for to hold needles um, and then I have that this is just for me because I tend to, you know, wear my meals. A tied, a tied stick, and then I've got my giant hook here. It's my giant hook. I'll link this down below. This is a great hook um, if you need a super size hook from Amazon. I think this is a 19 millimeter, but um, it's hard to see because my face is in the in in there and it wants to focus on my face. But this is an amazing hook. I'll I'll link that down below along with the bag, of course. Um, and then, uh, so these are scissors. I always buy my scissors uh, during school season. And I get the, the children's scissors for dirt teeth during school season. I buy a few. And I, I have in here um, also, yeah, my tape measuring. Hang on. It's another thing, another cute thing that I bought from um, Joann's. It's a Yarnology 
uh, item. Little llama, and it says yarn rules. See, it's so cute. So cute. Anyway, that's in there. That's also a yarnology item that I got from Joann's. They have some cute stuff, I'm telling you guys. All right, and then <clears throat> my cheap scissors that I get when school starts. Uh, we, I, I had lost those for a little bit, so we went in and bought some more scissors at Walmart. Um, so I just am leaving them in here. And then I tucked this, which is a double-decker case, hook case. I tucked this in here. And I'm able to zip it close. So my I have two things that I two other things besides that top part opening up like that but I have two other things that I was not a fan of on this bag one the smell this had a very chemical like smell when I got it um, if you have ever bought anything off of uh, what was that what was that place that was so popular not too long ago that we would get stuff off of and it came from China all the time it took you forever to get it but it was dirt cheap and like I would get purses and stuff and it would have this smell it was a very chemical like smell um, so it has that it has started to fade but it's still there a little bit but it does fade after time and um, I think you could wash this without a problem I don't feel any cardboard in this I have not washed it yet. I probably should, but I just, I needed something to hold the project and I needed to get the project done. So I, um, I did not wait and wash it first. Um, but it just feels like it has some piping. It doesn't feel, I, I don't feel any cardboard. So I think you would be able to wash this without a problem. And the other thing that I was not a fan of is there's no slip pockets outside. So there's no little pocket here on the back on the top on the other side there is no pocket okay so that was also a drawback for me so i couldn't like just tuck you know you want sometimes you want your scissors to be quick grab so you tuck your your scissors in the side pocket and so i would have loved that i have seen, seen some other um some other bags that uh, our uh, our yarn hooker uh, watchers have shown me that had a pocket right up here and this closed completely i just i don't know the size of the bag so i can't tell you if, it's, if they're the same size um so that was cool and that was also gotten on amazon um which i'll link that one down below if you want to check that out and compare the two uh because i did i did look that up so that will also be linked down below um but yeah, so I got this. So I, it is currently on the website at Amazon. And if you have Prime, then... Oh, oh, that's another thing I do like is you've got these short handles. And then you also... It's like a regular duffel bag. You also have the long padded handle. So you can hold it, carry it like a purse or like this. Or, you know, whatever you want. I hang it up like this <laughs> with the short with the short ones. But I like I did like that. I like that you had that option, and you can also unhook the long handle if you want to. It's hooked on to the sides, and they're actually pretty nice hooks. It's not a push hook. It's um, yeah. Sometimes you get that kind of push, like bendy metal here. This is actually it. I guess it is push, but it's it's not hinged. It's not the bendy metal. It's hinged, so it's it's not quite as uncomfortable. It's a nice hook. I really like it. It doesn't have the little pull thing on the side. You do push it, but it's it's a hinge push. So see if you can see that a little bit better. It is a hinge. It, it, you do push push it open, but it's hinged down here at the bottom, as opposed to it just being bendy. So that is that particular bag. I found that bag on Amazon. It, right now it's currently running for $28.99. It comes in that solid gray. It also has a floral print. It's kind of a leaf print. And it, the base is, I think, a dark navy. And it has like a dark green and kind of sage green kind of ferns, leaves, branches on it. Um, and then they also have like a taupe and white chevron pattern. So those are the three patterns. It is the extra large. And it's $28.99. So um, it is a pretty affordable for all the room that you get. It's pretty affordable. Um, I will tell you, I'm going to show a little video here because I went to 
when I went, I went back to Joanne's not too long after I got this because I remember that there was a bigger bag that was similar to this. This is better made. Okay, it does. It's not as thin feeling, um, and it doesn't have that stinky feel. That stinky, and then it's got these pockets on the side and everything. So. I went back, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be, as I'm, you're hearing me talk about this, you're probably seeing the video, um, but it is a $46 bag at Joann's. So that's the difference. You do get those extra pockets like I, what I was talking about, but the rest of it is all pretty comparable and you don't have that smell. So Joann's does sell something comparable. You spend a little bit more money and it is a little bit better made. But I think that this is very well made for what it is. I would not suggest drying this because of the plastic, but you can always air dry it. So if you do need to wash it, it is something that you can throw in the wash, I believe. Um, but I would not dry it. So that is, and it, this is called the Homest Extra Large Yarn Storage Bag for, um, it's on Amazon. It's linked down below. Let me know what you think. I have been using it. I love it. I love it. Um, you got to get past that, that the chemical smell, but I've had to do that for other project products. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm there. I'm good. I'm good. But it is pretty strong to start with. Um, but it's a, it's a great bag. It's a great bag for what I needed. I really do enjoy this bag. Uh, and you know, if, if it comes down to it, I can always crochet a little bag that I can attach to this hook here and, uh, and, and have a little, you know, little satchel hanging off of it. Who knows? You know, something like that. Or maybe one day I'll buy the, the bigger bag like this. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have two blanket bags, right? What did you guys think of this bag? I mean, do you have something like this? Let me know down below. I'd love to check it out sometime. Um, and is there something that you use that you love for big blanket projects? Uh, I've seen some people use like the big kind of vacuum storage bags. And those, that's a great idea too. I just needed something I can carry back and forth because I take this to Sunday dinner with my mom so she can see me working on it and see it as it progresses. But tell me about your favorite bag because I want to hear about it. Um, you can even leave a link in the links below. I may have to approve it but so it may not get posted right away. But um, yeah, you can even leave a link down below if, if you have a particular favorite bag. I would love to see what you love and uh, hopefully one day I can check it out if possible. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for this particular bag. It's become my go-to for the moment with my backup being the barrel bag that I got from Julie, the whippy chick. And um, then my third backup is this one, but this is for small projects. This has become my small project bag. And then we'll review this down the road. Let me know if you're interested. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for being here today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to go down below and hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And it really helps me out. It gets people like you access to this video. And I want as many people to see this as possible so that they can know what they can buy online without spending the money on it to find out they don't like it or they do like it or both or whatever, you know, how that goes. <laughs> all right. And uh, while you're down there, if you haven't yet and you like all things yarn and crochet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. All right, you guys, again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.